This newspaper is the product of an industry that produces an estimated 2.2 billion individual copies in Australia per year. With increasing public awareness about climate change, many industries have been quick to proclaim their green credentials. However, our readers still have little knowledge of how newspapers are produced. The MPA spent a week looking at every stage of newspaper production, from plantation to print. Newsprint production starts in pine plantations. Fibre from these plantations forms the bulk of the material for newsprint. Most of the wood from newsprint comes from waste wood in the form of either forest thinnings or waste from sawmills, unsuitable for use in furniture or housing. The use of this fast growing softwood eliminates the need for chemical processing as the softer wood can be pulped using heat and pressure in a simple mechanical process. This distinguishes the production of newsprint from some other types of paper mills, which use chemicals to break down fibres. Overall, it's this use of plantation forests which is possibly the paper industry's greatest asset. As a resource, plantations are renewable, sustainably harvested and sequester a large amount of carbon dioxide. After harvesting, logs are transported to the paper mill. Logs are stored until they're ready to have their bark removed. The removed bark is either sold or used as fuel to create steam for the mill. The logs are chipped, making them ready to be turned into pulp. The beginning of making newsprint. Turning wood chips into pulp is very much a chemical free process. Steam is used to soften the chips and they are then forced between two high speed rotating discs which tease the fibres apart the pulping plant generates its own steam, much of which is recovered to power other parts of the mill. Once the wood is pulped, it's combined with recovered fibre from recycled paper. This warehouse receives over 100,000 tonnes of recycled newspapers and magazines a year. Recovered paper is graded into various categories, which are then mixed carefully to obtain a consistent, high-quality blend. Before the recovered paper can be reused, it must have the old ink removed. The paper is put through a pulper, which acts as a large washing machine. Soap is used to remove the ink from the paper by creating masses of bubbles to which the ink attaches. The ink is then turned into a sludge and sold to farmers who use it as fertilizer. The combined pulp from recycled paper and wood chips is then fed into the paper machine. The fibres are mixed with water to form a slurry, which is 90% water and 2% fibre. The rest of the paper machine is dedicated to removing most of the water. Just 12 seconds after the slurry enters the machine, it emerges at the far end as a finished sheet of paper. The massive reels of paper from the machine are cut to a specific size for individual publishers and printers. Forklifts move the reels onto trucks, ready to be transported to printing presses across the country. All the water used in the paper making process is from the local river. The mill uses 10.5 megalitres of water a day, 80% of which is recycled. After the water has been used in the mill, it passes through a water filtration system to remove solids and organic matter. The final stage reduces salt and water is replaced into the environment through irrigation or put back into the river. The next stage of this cycle is a familiar one 
as journalists, editors and designers work to create the content for newspapers. The final product is compiled through design software, which is then sent to a print site as an electronic file. Once the printer receives the newspaper design, the images are lasered onto aluminium plates. This printing press uses 4,000 plates a week, all of which are sold so they can be reused in other industries. The plates are then mounted onto the printing press to print the final newspaper. Each reel of paper weighs around one and a half ton, and with prices reaching a thousand dollars a ton, printers are extremely conscious of reducing paper waste. Any paper waste goes back out to the paper mill to be recycled. The cost of wastage, chemicals and energy in the highly competitive printing industry has driven printers to become ever more efficient. The increased efficiency has made the printing industry much more environmentally friendly than it used to be. After being read, many newspapers find their way back to the paper mill. Domestic recovery of newsprint in Australia is said to be the highest in the world, with 77% of newsprint being recovered and reused. This is up from 28% in the 1990s, with the increase in recycling due to a landmark agreement between the Publishers National Environment Bureau, industry suppliers and the federal, state and territory governments. Improvements in newspaper production are actually one of the good news stories from our industry. The process has changed dramatically over the past 20 years with vast improvements being made in recycling, energy and water use and forestry practices.